Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture's found in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 17, and it goes like this. When the poor and the needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongues faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. You know, I read about a, a fellow from Russia. He'd come to the United States on a business trip. And uh, so uh, his host decided, uh, hey, we'll take him to a football game. And uh, so off they went. And uh, after the game, the, uh, the host asked the guest what he thought about this football game. And he said, well... I've never seen first-rate enthusiasm wasted on such a second-rated cause. Ooh, that strikes pretty deep, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> you know, here in the U.S., we spend millions upon top of millions going to sports games, of all things. Oh, yeah. Grown men playing a child's game and being paid millions upon top of millions of dollars to do it. And we get all excited about it. Yeah, we sure do. We pack out the stadiums every Sunday. It's not just football, but basketball, baseball, soccer, whatever any reason to go watch these adults play a child's game. And unfortunately, a lot of Christians show up there too in place of being in church. And I was thinking this morning, what would happen if we got as excited about church, going with to church with our friends, our neighbors, as we do a stupid football game or basketball or soccer, baseball. It makes no difference. What would happen in our churches? Well, we get closer to God, I guarantee you. You know, folks, there's an old song, this world's not my home, I'm just passing through. We need to be worshiping the Lord, not getting involved in all of this things that takes us away from the Lord. Because I guarantee you, while you're sitting there watching the game, paying them hundreds of dollars for a seat. The last thing you got on your mind is the Lord. Think about it. So folks, get your priorities straight. It's time to start serving the Lord. It's time that we get on our knees and ask for forgiveness for our ignorance. That's all it is, is a bunch of ignorant fools that does stuff like that. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yep, he died on the cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.